Hello everyone and welcome back to Country Living Homestead. Today we are working on part three of our DIY cattle panel greenhouse. If you have not watched part two and part one, you want to make sure that you go back and watch those videos and that will get you up to this point. So we would also like to say thank you so much to everyone that has subscribed to our channel. It means a lot to us and I'm so glad that we're able to help out so many people to get out and build these greenhouses for your family and farm. They are a great addition, so let's get back to it. Okay, so today we are going to be hanging this storm door in this area right here that we just built. So I am noticing something and I'm probably going to have to put in a few more of those stake type two by fours that I put in. But the sides of the doors here are just a, they're a little shaky down here on the bottom, as you can see. So I'm almost thinking if I stake another two by four through here, that's gonna sturdy that up and keep everything square. So I'm gonna work on that first and get that going before I hang this door.
Okay, check it out. Door is installed. Actually works pretty nice. A little bit of a tight fit, but not too bad. Okay, it's gonna work out really, really well. That is awesome. You know what that's time for? The Homestead Happy Dance. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Anyhow, I'm a better builder than I am a dancer, so we have the door installed. Check it out, nice storm door. That's gonna do really well, so let's move on to the next step. Okay, so magically from the last step that I just completed, we now have snow again. So I am now going to work on some braces for the top because obviously we get a lot of snow around here. So we definitely want to compensate for the snow load. So my thought is I'm going to run some braces down the middle and attach them right to this. I'm wondering how I'm going to attach it into the middle though. So I guess I'll try to work that out as we go and take it from there. Okay, so now what I'm doing is I'm taking a 16 foot two by four and just temporarily leaning it up against this brace because it will be attached to there. And then what I'm going to do is take some zip ties. I put a few zip ties together and I'm gonna zip tie that end up there so that way that'll hold that temporarily while I get it attached back here and then we can start framing out the top Okay, so I've measured in between those two boards there and it's 39 and a quarter inches. So I'm gonna cut a few two by fours at that length to put in for additional braces down the center. We're gonna put them this direction now, just so that way it builds some more rigidity for the top. And then I'm gonna figure out a way to put everything together down there on the end.
Okay, so now I'm gonna take two more 16 foot two by fours. I'm gonna do the same thing what I did down there. That seems to be working out pretty well. I'm gonna attach them to this right here and right here and run them down. And it looks like they're gonna line up pretty good to be able to attach to those other ones straight down there, as you can see. So I'm gonna get these put up and hopefully we can get those attached. And this is actually gonna work out pretty good because as you can see right here, these braces that are going across, those will actually work out pretty good to like hang some planters or something on there. So those will actually serve a couple different purposes. So not only is it going to help sturdy up the roof of this thing, but we can also use it to put some like hanging plants and stuff like that on it. So that's pretty cool. I think this is working out good. And also just a side note, putting those staples in up there, the fence staples, that was kind of a challenge. I'm a tall guy, so I was able to climb the ladder and hammer those in. Um, but you may need to find out uh, a way that you'd be able to reach up there and get those put in there. So that was a little bit of a challenge, but not too bad. And it seems to be working out good. First you don't succeed, try, try again. Okay, so I'm pretty happy about this. I just got these attached and I put them on the outsides of the boards on both sides. Let's check this out. It looks like they're going to match perfectly. So I'll be able to attach those right there and right there. So that's gonna work out awesome. Get those put in along with a few more braces like I did down here. And then I'm almost thinking of putting, like for the winter time, I could attach a two by four that here it goes here, straight down to the ground on both sides. And I think that's gonna do it for the ceiling here. So let me get these boards put in and get everything put together and see how it turns out. Okay, so I just measured in between here. It looks like around this area, it's 38 and a quarter. So I'm gonna put a brace there, but it's not quite square, but hey, what are you gonna do? It's pretty darn close. I'm losing about an inch back here. So this is about 37 and a quarter, but those matched up pretty good. That worked out well. So Again, I'm almost thinking that a two by four that connects to there and goes down to the ground on both sides in the winter time 
and I think that's going to be good to go. I'm going to put some in and check it out, but let's go get these boards cut so that way we can get the braces put into this area right here. Okay, so this is actually working out really well. I just got two two by four by eights and they fit absolutely perfect right here. So that's gonna work out great to be able to uh, prop this up. Like I can uh, really get that under there and that's really gonna do good in the winter time. I'll put this other one up over here too. But that just shows you there that then I can uh, Attach those there, cut them down just a little bit, but geez, that's that's awesome. I think that's going to work out really well. And I got some extra spots to hang some hanging plants and things like that, so that's cool. So let's get this finished, stapled up on here, and then we're going to be adding the plastic and building the windows. So exciting. Let's get to it. <laughs> 